I'm raising my daughter to be strong and confident. But last week, she told me she's sick of the sexual gestures and comments thrown at her every day. I tell her, ignore them. Focus on your classwork. But she can't concentrate and she's anxious. She talked to the counselor, but the school isn't doing anything to stop it. I teach my nephew to respect everyone, but at school, his friends pressure him to sexually harass the girls. He's uncomfortable and afraid to speak up. I mean, just the other day, they dared him to grab a girl's breast, and when he didn't, they turned on him and called him gay. I told him he did the right thing, but the school should be doing something about this. Our second grade daughter likes to look like a boy. Kids are making remarks about how she doesn't look or act like a girl, and the teachers don't do anything. Some girls cornered her in the bathroom and pulled down her pants. I think the school should do something to stop this. My granddaughter came home in tears. Her best friend is moving away because she can't cope with being sexually harassed online. She feels unsafe and even suicidal. The principal said he can't control what kids say online. When the school ignores the harassment, other kids like my granddaughter, are affected too. Our son came out as gay this year. We support him 100%, but at school, he's not accepted. He skips gym because he's harassed in the locker room. When he brings it up with the teacher, they say they'll do something about it, but they don't. My first grade son has been withdrawn, and I found out some older boys forced him to perform sex acts in the bathroom. When I told the principal, he said, it's just boys being boys. Our neighbor's daughter was sexually assaulted on a date. Now she's terrified to be in class with the guy. She told her counselor, but the school says they can't help her because it didn't happen at school. I can't believe this is true. She can't talk to her parents about it, and I don't know how to help her. Sexual harassment and assault are widespread problems that occur at alarming rates in K-12 schools. They take a real emotional, educational, and economic toll on students. Tragically, students continue these behaviors into college and the workplace. That's why we must start the discussion with the K-12 community. Stop Sexual Assault in Schools created a toolkit that will help you find out what your school's doing about sexual harassment. It contains video clips, fact sheets, a checklist, and ways to make positive change in your community. Every action we take, big or small, counts.